Hey guys, Steve Gutowski here, back with another episode of Games and Guns. This week I've got uh, my lovely girlfriend, Rachel Hirado. Hello. How you doing, Rachel? I'm doing alright. Um, so, in a bit of a transition period right now, so... my turns out my laptop is not quite good enough to uh, run the software that I normally use to do the show, so there's not going to be a video of us, but... Um, we still can record the show, the game and talking, the old talkie time show. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, um, we're going to hopefully be doing a, a fundraiser soon to, to try and uh, upgrade some of the equipment that I use for the show and um, so we can get back up to top-notch uh, production quality here at Games and Guns. Just two cents a day feeds Steven Gutowski for a year. <laughs> I, I eat a lot more than that in a day. Don't put yourself down. <laughs> but um, today we're going to play a little bit of uh, what remains one of my favorite um, next-gen games that is out right now. Uh, probably the favorite at this point, eh, run away, run away from everything. Kill, 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 kill. Yes, I did it. I killed him. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. I only have one life point thing. You killed a football player. I did. He was a jerk though. He tried to kill me first. I didn't know you like soccer that much that you killed football players. That's kind of weird. Mm, that's a good joke. Mm-hmm. Good for that. Sure. <laughs> um. But uh, today we're, we're going to play a little Plants and Zombies Garden Warfare, or I will, and Rachel's going to watch. I do that. She likes to watch... Uh, she That's because watch I'm bad play. at video games. I like to watch them. It's actually not true. Oh, wow. oh. I'm pretty bad. She just thinks she's bad. She's actually very good. I'm bad at shooters. I'm good at, I'm good at Batman games and Assassin's Creed and... Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Assassin. Creed and Rise. Just I'm really good at that game. So. Rise. Really good, They're putting that out for the PC now for some reason. Uh, it's like a year after it came out. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know why. I do not want. But um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how Dartmouth is helping stalkers uh, and hurting their own students. So basically, have you heard, you heard about this story, Rachel? Mm-hmm. Essentially, um, there's a student, a 20-year-old student at Dartmouth who has a stalker um, who's threatened to kill her. He actually showed up at her house with, like, a knife and tape and rope in his trunk. Um, he was arrested, and he's, he's waiting trial right now, but he does have bail, so if you ever... Uh, her fear is that he could make bail, and he's threatened to show up at her school and basically kill her. Um, and... So she, quite reasonably, wants to be able to defend herself if that ever happens um, by carrying a gun on her, like uh, millions of people do every day across the country. But Dartmouth, uh, who apparently cares more about ID, their own gun control ideology than they do about this woman's safety... Revive, I'm going to revive this guy. Revive, re revive, revive. Steven. Revive. Steven. revive. What are you doing? I'm trying to revive him. This wasn't working. Because yeah, he was sliding it. down the tomato. That's why. It's the physics. It's physics engine this game. It's, it's mm. work. Phys X. Maybe Phys you need X. some work. Maybe. But Dartmouth, essentially Dartmouth is not going to let her carry on campus. Um, just because, you know, they're liberal anti-gun people that run that school, which is should come as no surprise to anyone, but... Well, they have a different idea of safety. Yeah. Or rules like that. One that relies on vomiting on yourself and peeing your pants to prevent rape. Instead of... I do that for anything. Pre prevent tickling, anything. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's horrifyingly true. Yeah, you know. I do. But, um... Yeah, so they're, they're not going to let her carry on campus despite the fact that her life is under a direct threat from a stalker. Um, and she wants to carry. Uh, 
But does she do it? Does she do it like when she's not at school? Is she used yes. to it, or is it just after the okay? But I mean, it's just she has someone threatening, directly threatening her life. So yeah, that's the main point. I mean, no, I'm just curious. Like, you know, yeah, no, I she's mean, like. So she does. Already, I yeah. believe she. Yeah, yeah. Like she, she. California is actually going to allow her to have a concealed carry license. Yeah. She said she qualifies for, which, if anyone knows, the gun laws in California are pretty insane, uh, and it's difficult to get a concealed carry license. Stop, stop dancing. dancing Stupid on jerk. Your body. He saw. He killed me, and then he danced. What a jerk. At least I don't teabag you. Mm. That's the. That's the. Planting zombies equivalent on two dying. Dancing. Yeah. All's cute. Dancing on your corpse. Aww. That's cute. But, um, yeah, so. Maybe they're just making a salad. You know, with your plant. Mm, true. But they're zombies, they don't eat salads. They just need to, like, you know, kind of, like, mush you up a little fact, bit so that you're, like, tender. You have a tender mouth feel. Oh, well. I think I attack so. my own side by accident. But I feel like that, so it's all good. Mm-hmm. No, I'm done. Uh, in fact, plants and zombies are not natural enemies whatsoever. I don't understand why they're fighting each other. Well, maybe they are. Maybe, like, when zombies rise from the dead and they come out of the ground, they screw up, like, gardens and, like, the grass and stuff, so. Mm, I don't know. Zombies eat people, and I would think that, um, what, what do you call well, them, they like, don't have plants? to eat the plants, so. Yeah. Die. You all die now. You all die now. I'll get out of you and die instead. That's not good. Oh, that's a good one, sort of. I'm gonna die soon, though. Oh. Let's get out of here. Hi! Snuck up on you. We're all still alive. How the hell? <laughs> I did a good lot of damage idea. to a lot of people, and then, and then I just died. Should have thrown in a little chili bomb. Yeah, I didn't have one, though. Look at them! Look at these people! I'm pretty sure I'm playing with a bunch of children, and wow. they're taunting me. What a, what a jerk. Get out of here. This is what our culture is now. Oh, mm, babies and so. babies, and pretty soon zombies dancing on a dead body. That's right. It's the deterioration of the collective. That's exactly what Daniel Patrick Moynihan was talking about. Exactly. You never pretend I know who that is? That's, ex- that's also exactly what he was talking about. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just think I, Dartmouth is putting their own ridiculous ideology, ideology, ideology. I, yeah. I think they're doing both. They're putting both of those things in front of the in front safety of, the safety of, the of this woman, young yeah. woman. Yeah, it's, and their argument is obviously that uh, you know, oh, well, if we had guns on campus, then it'd be the wild west and everyone would be a war zone and we would all die she's not gonna like bring like Which a bunch of insane. guns and like hide them in the rocks or anything it's just for people to find well here's the thing like so there's several states already that it's by some it's by a by a thing disco stew alright we'll buy him but uh there's several states already that allow concealed carry of firearms on college campuses uh, Pennsylvania's among them and the Ooh. simple fact, Pennsylvania's awesome. You put it down over there. Hmm. Um, the simple fact is that there are not. Uh, there's no increase in gun crimes committed. There's no gun crimes committed by concealed carry holders at these colleges. It just doesn't happen. It's not. Whenever these anti-gun um, administrators say that. Oh well, it would be, you know, it'd be a, a war zone if we allowed concealed carry. But they never have any actual examples to point to. They just this is their, in their fevered imaginations, that's what will happen. But in reality, where this is actually already the case, in I think it's like nine states. Yeah. These states are not. We're not having concealed carry holders killing people at will. It just it's just not reality. Well, I mean, I know you kill people at will because you're a concealed carrier. So uh-huh. maybe they're just extrapolating from your experience. That's a fair point. So, and you're from Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. So. Yes. It's a little bit different. All good points. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I just think uh, the reality of the situation is that they're they're putting this woman at risk. Their solution, they told her, oh, if, you f- if you don't feel safe at night, you can just have a... Uh, you know, our campus security escort you everywhere you go. Um, 
and she, in fact, she's already said that, uh, essentially they, oh, oh my gosh, a thing grabbed me. Get out of here, thing. It's new. Oh, dang it. Mm, yeah. That was awful. But she said that campus security is already getting sort of annoyed by her constantly requesting, uh, um... You know, escorts around campus. Yeah. Well, what's the problem with campus security? They're usually like few and far between. They take a long time to come pick you up, mm-hmm. and mostly, I don't think they have guns. So, I mean, if that stalker yeah. guy ups his ups his game, I mean, I mean, you already both had of them are going to be in trouble. So, right. I mean, and and uh, as well intentioned as a campus security guard may be, or even you know, just generally a police officer, uh, anyone that's charged with. Um, protecting others it's, it's the reality of the situation is that it's not 100% guarantee that they're going to be able to protect you yeah it never is and in fact uh, the police aren't even um, liable if they don't protect you yeah, um, I mean, yeah according to the Supreme Court you, you, well, they're, plus, they're not you can't sue a cop just because well you, plus you, like you, courtesy you, security is a little bit different too right like, I think sure so. Yeah, it's even less of a, it's even a lower standard for them. But, but even even police, um, you know, there's a famous Supreme Court case that essentially says, uh, you know, it, just because you call the police and and they respond to your call doesn't mean that you can sue them if they don't protect you. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, it, in the end, we're all responsible for our for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Even though they're trying to lull those kids into a false sense of security, right. where they aren't responsible for their own safety at all times. Sure, but this but this woman wants to be responsible for her own safety. She's actively trying to be able to carry uh, a firearm, and the school is is keeping her from doing so. So it's even worse, really. Yeah, no, that's a good way to infantilize your students is by <laughs> not encouraging them to be aware of the surroundings Adults. at all times. Mm-hmm. So. Which you should be anyways, whether you can have a gun or not, but... Sure. Yeah. You know. Especially I mean, especially if you're kids, because... Well, yeah. If you're a woman, and if you're, you know, in good school, and you've been out partying... I'm gonna destroy these flowers. Or, I mean, yeah. if you're just... You know, like, there's so many stories of, like, just kids getting their cell phones, like, <laughs> taken away from them because they weren't paying attention, and they're, like, carrying a bunch of stuff, and just not aware of the surroundings, so, I mean... Right. With a, an active stalker who's basically promised to come get her, I mean, that's just the height of irresponsibility oh, yeah. for the school. It is. It really is. And it's... it's uh, Their naivety is dangerous. And it's putting this woman in danger. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, this, this campus is safe, you know? If we don't have guns here, then it's safe. Uh, no. You're, you're, that's insane. This guy wants to, you know, kill this woman, and you're only making it easier for him to do so if, if that, if he ever got the opportunity at the school. Mm-hmm. So. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Just absurd. And now you're a woman. Well, I am now. Right. So, for After now. Yeah. You identify as, as a woman. Well, I mean, you asked me to have a surgery, so... Well, I mean, the... I just want to make you happy. Right. I'm very happy now, after the the second time with the surgery. The first time they left, like, parts on it was gross. Well, it was just hormone treatment. So. That was weird. But, um... You didn't seem to mind it? Well, I can deal. I just don't prefer it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, um, as a woman... It's a good thing I have the rewards card at the plastic surgeon. Right. Legally... As a legal woman, by law, what do you, like what do you think of concealed carry? I mean, I know that I, I carry. Uh, you have a gun, I do right? Mm-hmm. Um, and you've taken the concealed carry course, uh, so you know the laws, but you haven't actually applied for the license yet. What do you... Well, I'm just losing weight until I so I can get a holster that looks good. So. <laughs> It'll be like maybe a year or five before I get down mm-hmm. to just regular obesity from morbid obesity. Oh, my God. So. You're not even close to the facts. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, well, but my main thing is... Um, what are your it's, thoughts? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm for carrying, but I'm also just... I mean, 
I think you have to get trained up, and I kind of feel like I'm not quite there yet. Um, yeah, although I, so. I do think that I would like to have one, like, you know, in my car, just going from parking lot to wherever I need to go. But, like, I can't carry it at work because our building, and building doesn't let us, so. Right. But you think this woman should be able to carry, right? Oh, yeah, of course. And you think Dartmouth is, is putting her life at risk by not allowing it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, she's already trained up. I mean, geez. And, and there's this extreme situation. I mean, yeah. it's unbelievable that they're not letting her do something. So. Absolutely. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, hopefully I'll be back again next week. Uh, like I said before, it's a little bit of a transition period, so i um, just trying to figure out all the um, you know, technical stuff. Uh, hopefully I'll have details for the fundraiser soon so you can help um help build the channel help help keep this going um line thanks. your pockets yes make me super rich hmm. also uh one day you'll hit the poverty line <laughs> but uh thanks for coming on sure. i love you Here, give me an audible kiss for the microphone no no <laughs> <laughs> i think that that should be good right? they heard that one all right well Ugh. Make sure you, you click to subscribe and come back every week for new videos. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.